All right, YouTube, as I edit this video, it looks like there's a lot of me doing electrical, double bubble going on, and brick going on as well. It's a trifecta. Stick with me. <laughs> Welcome to my life. All right, YouTube, so I've been uh, putting boxes on for the garage openers. Down there, I used two by uh, tens for the three big doors. They're way all set. These ones line up pretty dang close to the actual uh, purlins that are on the ceiling. So I just add another board to make sure you had plenty of room to hit something. And then I measure off to find center, transfer that to top, measure off that joist or truss, and then I bring that same measurement back here to find the center. And then I'll just tack my box on the end, electrical box on the end of that here so that the garage door will have power. And this is where the engine will man up into. So, yep, this is the last box. I've got the other ones done. So I'll get this box on there and then I'll start running wire. So that's my last box to put in for garage door openers. All the garage door openers now have boxes. So now I just need to run the wire from one to the next, the next, the next, the next, and then back over to where the fuse panel will be. And then I'll knock out that circuit, and then I'll just have that switch wire left. Yeah, they'll be ready for to put the ceiling up in no time. Oop, wrong switch. Going down. All right, so I got my 14.3 laid out about where I need it. I like to roll that out like this because I don't buy big rolls of 14.3. I probably should. Uh, but, you know, you only use it for two-way switches, so. Ooh, I'm worn out from uh, lifting that 10.2 <laughs> on there. That sucker's heavy. But I got it up there, so that'll be good when I go there and just start rolling from one to the next to the next to the next. And then I got a box full of the uh, door sensors and button wires so i can get those tacked up in there too so those are ready to go everything anything that can go above the ceiling i'd like to get done the best i can right now so that's kind of what i'm working on all right so let me lift this wire up and uh we'll go back all the way back over there and we'll feed her through I got concerned because all these wires in this box here. So I went to Lowe's and found the biggest ones they got. That's a sizable difference. You know, we'll probably really make a difference when I'm trying to stuff all those wires in there, especially all four of them. So I'm gonna pull these boxes off. I got three of them. I'll just do this one now because that's where I'm at, but I'll replace all of them with these bigger extended boxes, you know. In the long run, it'll save me a lot of pain, I think. I'll bring a screwdriver for a ship back. I think it's a 24 cubic inch uh, box as opposed to a 20. But I really think it's going to make a difference when I start stuffing wires.
hey YouTube hey it's the next day I'm uh, been bending lows <laughs> I got tired of running out of cable staples so I bought a bunch uh, and then I bought these ceiling fan boxes they're only they're only half inch uh, deep which is cool because they're gonna go right on the center uh, where the steel is gonna meet so they'll just bring their channels straight up to them and then go on down from there I'm going to center them between the two light sockets uh, there's four of them and then I'll just wire them for future um, fan use I'll just cap them for now but and then I'll just put another switch over here on the side uh, to run the power to so I'll bring the power up over and down you know I could probably save a lot if I drilled through all this stuff but I don't want holes through it um, so I plan to go up and over and then down and put that switch right here and then back up and then just chase it on down four boxes and wire across to all so that's kind of the plan for now and then I need to do the garage door sensor wires and the garage door controller uh, wires uh, for each of those for each of the garage doors so there's three wires per garage door uh, so we'll need to get those in as well um, yeah and that's also they can put the roof up so I'm glad I started this way early I was going to wait until they were done and then start doing it uh, of course now I'm trying to get them to do the ceiling because those sheets are so big uh, just too much for me and the wife uh, and so for us to do that while I have the lift number one and then I have the crew number two I need to get all this done so getting back at it it's good good to get it done good to get it done all right so let's get these fan boxes up measured out and put on there that's the hard part you know just drill a hole straight up through the two by four to run the wires through and I'll just go from box to box to box and that's the plan so that went pretty well we got the fan boxes in all the way down future fan boxes so the caps are on them but they're just there they'll bring their trim right up to it and cut around them but that's where the fans will go there's four down the center and then I got those tied into a separate switch and then of course its own dedicated power line of course it's all for the future but uh, they're in there so when they do the ceiling they're ready to go so that's cool the next thing i gotta do is run these wires for the uh sensors and the switches for the garage doors um man the sensors always drive me crazy but gotta get them in so i plan on putting the switches in the center of the two so a switch and switch right here and then a switch and switch on the center down there uh, there's no good way i could put them here by the door um you know but the, man i just don't have any space in here whatsoever all right so the boss came out and told me where we're going to put these switches <laughs> so we're going to put them on each side of the uh, center things where the water spigots are so on each side we'll put the switches so i'll need to run sensors to each side of the doors and then switches to the one side as well so that'll be fun let me get those going and uh, i guess we'll just start this here and we'll work our way down and yeah, it's gonna be a lot of little teeny wires to tack in all right well no complaining just get busy probably not going to show you guys this stuff I'll, i'm putting on time lapse maybe for the first one you get the idea little team wires going from the plug box down to the sides of the doors good morning youtube it's a good day it's only eight o'clock in the morning and the postman's already been here and he brought me 10 of the 15 boxes of the lights that i bought these are uh hyper lights um they're pretty cool i don't know there's several different companies out there this one uh if you email them they send you like a 10 percent off discount in the email before you buy them so if you're going to buy these um i think you have to buy them from their website to get the 10 percent off you can't do it on amazon but uh yeah i ordered them from their website and they gave me 10 percent off with the little code and uh, i guess i'm supposed to have 15 of these 150 
watt ones are the ones I got for my bay for the height, ceiling height and whatever. You email them your building and the height of your ceiling and they send you a chart and a map and all that stuff of how the lights will be, will be should be arranged in that bay to make the ultimate coverage. In my case, it was 15, 150 watt hyperlights. So that's what I ordered. It was pretty expensive, but uh, I shouldn't <laughs> I shouldn't have a problem with light in there, uh, which is important when we're filming all the time. So I've been in the middle of making a boat video. Well, of course, you won't, you'll see that in the boat video uh, section, but a uh, tree wanted to be in my boat video. And so I figured I'd come up here and see how a tree was doing on my roof <laughs> with Joshua. I feel best. Tree, tree always feels best at the top. At the top, at the treetop. Yeah. It's a great day, man. It's beautiful. It feels great. It is a beautiful day, actually. It's a lot like, warmer than yesterday. It's crazy today. Had to come out of the sweatshirts. Yeah. Can't ask for much more this time, man. I know, right? And the best part is, he's getting my riff done today for me. Because rain, rain's coming tomorrow. Yeah, Ridge Cap 2. You said Ridge Cap 2. Hey, man. It's going to be a real good day. You got two and a half hours, I think, left of sunlight. Oh, that's plenty of time.
YouTube. Hey, I just got done making a boat video, so I figured I'll come out here and update you on what we've done today on the building. It has been a really good day uh, of sorts. It's also been a bad day of sorts. Um, I did get my door installed, uh, so that's good. That one's installed, and I got it, uh, all the trim work I did uh, this morning. Uh, awful weird sizes, whatever, but I made it work. And uh, so I got that all trimmed in. And then I got this other door uh, trimmed in as well. So that's good to go. They're ready to be bricked up to. Um, so that's cool. Yep, so those are in. Um, big day for brick, boy, let me tell you. Let's walk around the other side and I'll show you this brick that's going on. Um, very interesting day when it comes to the brick world. Um, so we got first day they did all this except for the top two rows which they did today so really nice looking i mean that they did a great job this guy marvin uh man what a wonderful mason man this guy's just got it going on but uh, him and his crew they knocked out this side and then they got to this side over here and they've gone around it and on down the back side and they've just been cruising so they got all the way down to here and uh, they started their rows on the bottom on around and they've gotten to there so they started that piece down there as well um just knocking out of the park i have a lot of time lapse of them doing these bricks but the uh, battery on my uh, gopro it kicked off a couple times um i think the uh, gopro situation is costing me more than i'm making on my youtube channel for sure i just got a new gopro max again and i sent my old one off that had a cracked lens which i got for free ish but you got to pay $59 for their program and then it costs $99 to replace the camera and yada 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 but anyway uh they're doing great great work on the building today um yeah brick is just wonderful I mean just wonderful those guys are awesome the bad news on that is is I'm about 1500 shy of finishing in my building the salesman told me I would have 200 and something extra of the bricks I bought everything they had of of mod, uh, modular bricks um the saving grace was the mason um he came up with marvin came up with uh, uh made some calls and found me some matching brick but not modular it's queen uh that is a problem i i of course wish that i knew that i wasn't gonna have enough but i didn't know that and i would have gone around the front and put that extra the, on the back uh, but what is going to happen is the back's already done. They'll come up here. They'll come up to this door and stop here. And then the queen's brick will start here. It'll be the same exact color. It's just a little bit different size. And that's, it's interesting. But that's what we're going to do all the way around here. And then on down and around to the other corner on this side. And he'll stop in this corner. And then he'll just try to match these bricks into it. It's going to be tough. You're probably going to have a cold brick here. And then those bricks will come in and cold break there as well. Not what I wanted, but it is what it is. I mean, at least Marvin had a solution. Because you can't get those. These are discontinued bricks. And you can't get any more. And I thought I was getting everything I needed and more. Uh, I didn't measure it. The sales guy measured. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of tough for me to swallow right now. But it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it but press on. And thank goodness that Marvin had an answer. And uh, he's really saved this project. Uh, just by his context, he's been a mason for forever and he knows everybody right so his contacts basically saved it so we have brick coming so that's a good thing for sure but they are just knocking it out of the park knocking it out of the park um, one thing they are going to do is they're going to do up to the office on both sides and down that wall and then they're going to split and head out to another job doing blocking i'm going to get the other brick tomorrow and then they're going to come back and uh lay that next week so uh, but that allows my other guys, which we've ordered the metal today and paid for the metal today for the rest of the building. And that allows them all week and they can completely finish the big bays and the big building. Um, the small building won't get finished because it won't have brick on it until next week. By the time they get done with all that stuff, though, um, he'll be done with this and they can kick on this building. We really can't put the fronts on and the side on until we get the windows which is have slipped till December. Windows are just terrible right now. Um, getting windows, I mean, that's the, it's, I mean, everybody, everybody in the neighborhood of this building has the same exact issue, can't get windows. So I know it's not just me, uh, but we'll need to get those windows in to get the front done. I'm not sure 
yet i haven't decided but i may just have them panel out the front and the sides and then we'll come back and we'll pull all the panels off the front and cut the windows in when we get them i'm not exactly sure how if we'll do that or not but i may do that just to finish it off uh temporarily uh i'm not sure uh december's long i mean that's it's only a month away i guess but i don't think they, they say they're going to come on december 24th Nobody's going to deliver anything on Christmas Eve. So you know it's going to be into January. I think it's their way of saying it's going to be January. I don't know. Um, I hope for the best to expect the worst. That's just the way it is. So, um, Yeah, but uh, Tree and Joshua did wonderful on the roof today. I mean, they got the whole front on, except for the Lerch, very corner pieces, which they'll on both sides, which they'll put on when they get the, the rubber seal that goes down the sides of this. And then they'll put that hip roof on. But wonderful job. If it rains, I'm now closed in in the inner building anyway. Um, they got the top on and this other side on. Um, wonderful. Wonderful, as you'll see in the uh, time-lapse videos. But just thrilled to death that the roof is finally on the structure. So that's great. That's great. All right, well, that's my updates for today. Tomorrow, my dad's coming out at 8. Uh, I'm going to get the dump truck hooked with the trailer now so it's ready to go. And we can take off at eight and go down to Columbus, Kentucky, where I have to get the brick. So it's going to be quite the uh, quite an interesting thing tomorrow that we're going to do. But uh, hey, whatever, we're going to get the brick on site, um, and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, one of the guys, local farmers, called me, so tonight I'm going to finish this up, uh, and then I'm going to head to his house. Uh, his his water line to his house broke, so tonight after I get the dump truck done. Uh, he's went to get the parts and he's going to call me and I guess that's what I'll be doing this evening is putting in a water line to a guy's house. So we're going to do that in the dark evidently. Um, but it is what it is. You can't, you can't let somebody go without water. I mean, you know, you got to help them out. So we're going to do that tonight. We, as in me, are uh, going to do that tonight and then uh, I'll be ready to go for the morning to go get brick and I'll see you then. All right, YouTube. Hey, we're in Columbia, Kentucky, where we found uh, the brick and uh, thank goodness they had it. They actually have quite a bit of it here. Um, so yeah, we have the same, it's the same brick, it's a, except for it's a queen brick instead of a modular brick. So it is a little bit different size, but we'll make a clean break around the office and we'll use these modules. I'm just glad we found some. Uh, thank goodness for Marvin, my, uh, my uh, Mason. Uh, he knows a lot of people. I mean, how would you know to call this place? But he did and uh, they had it and so we got it. All right, so we're gonna head back. It's a hour and a half there here, an hour and a half back. We're gonna head back that way and probably pick up the sand on the way back through. And then uh, we'll get back to the job site. See you in a bit. All right, YouTube. Hey, we made it back from the brick place, and we've also picked up uh, mortar and sand. Uh, that's all sitting on the trailer, so I'm going to fire up the old tractor. I don't even know if I can lift this this uh, ton, I guess. I got one ton of sand, so I don't even know if this thing will lift that. Uh, that's 2,000 pounds. I think it's rated at 15. But I figure at least if I get it off the trailer and get it on the ground so it's not on the trailer, that'd be good. I know I can pick up the mortar, so we're going to go out there and move that. And get that off there the brick guys are just doing great out here and uh so they're moving right along and uh tree and uh, josh are up there putting those top purlings on so that project's getting done so really good day so yeah let me get out here and get moving and get this stuff done
All right, YouTube. Hey, things are coming along well. We got the double bubble all the way down the weather wall. We started going down the backside. Had to get a couple more um, purlins across there. So that's done. So now they just keep wrapping and work their way down. So I'm sitting here adding in the video and I have no idea. I guess I was just so busy. I didn't even cut an ending for the day there that day. Um, yeah, I was just, I mean, with the double bubble going on, the roof going on, the masons there, actually the still shows up, which you'll see that in the next episode. And the concrete guys were actually there. Um, and I was making a boat video during that and I was doing electrical during that. And it was just a busy, busy time. Um, so anyway, totally thrilled with where we were at at this point um yeah i mean things are going along awesome i hope you're enjoying this as much as i'm enjoying putting it together for you um the boat i know people are wanting boat videos i mean i've seen a couple comments i plan to get those out to you as soon as i can uh you are current on the boat um uh but i can't really work on it it is inside the building the building is not heated i don't have electric yet uh i don't even have windows or doors yet actually um so i'm i have one door the rest of the doors aren't on. Um, so uh, no heat, you know, whatever, but I really need the temperatures to come up so I can continue on that resin. Um, I plan to knock a boat episode out for you as soon as I can. Um, so I haven't forgotten you, but I hope you're enjoying the episodes of the ultimate garage and I'll see you next week.